I like this case and you like it too. It's under two hundred dollars and it's really cool. So as we wait for the trooper to attack, it's time for the unboxing. So you best get back. All right, so check it out. For you rockers out there, you guys who are out there in the know, know what that song was relating to, and you guys see the case. And for you, I guess I'll see it in your comments. You guys know what's up. That said, Battlefield 3 is the big hype thing right there. And like when new processors or new operating systems comes out, all the companies kind of gear their stuff around that for marketing. So you can see this is the trooper. CM Storm Trooper case. Now, what is this? This is a full tower gaming case that's totally geared for the enthusiasts. It's under $200, has a lot of great features. So we're gonna do the unboxing today. So we'll start out, like usual, using the trusty knife and we'll go ahead and make a slit here on top. Now, I gotta say, this, this case came just the way it is. I would probably mention to Cooler Master if they were shipping this out, probably they might wanna stick it in another box. It's a little more expensive, but I just want to show the camera right here on the side. I did get a big old raspberry from the UPS man because you know how those suckers are. They throw your stuff like it's a soccer game. So hopefully there's no damage on the inside of that. But that said, we'll go ahead and we'll continue on the unboxing. We'll go ahead and turn this to the side first so you guys can see this. Doing case unboxing is radical, man, because they're huge. So the easiest way to get a case out of a box, though, is to do this. Uh, we'll try not to hit the microphone here, which I'm famous for doing. So I'll probably put an angle here. Take it, baby. That's the easiest way to get it out. Even though it didn't really look easy, the only reason it's not easiest is the freaking angle that I gotta work at, man. I gotta work because I look at the cameras. This is crazy. Oh, the cameramen in the background are laughing their asses off at me right now. I am gonna get revenge on those little right after this. I'm telling you right now. So let me flip this thing around and everything flies around. Now, for you guys out there in the audience, if you were actually doing this at home, you'd be able to set it on the floor and do this, but I'm like limited to this little space where they have me working on and the microphone's right here. So if I do too much, I'll smack it. And you guys don't like when there's a big boom, you go, ah, edit that out. So no editing, let's move forward. We're gonna start off by looking at the front of the case. We can see right off the bat that there are nine bays that you can see externally. Now, these are the 5.25 bays, but these can also be converted. Inside of the system, you can convert nine of these bays to 3.5 inch bays, and you can convert 13 of them to 2.5 inch bays because there's actually some internal bays as well. Down below right here, we have to see this little thing down here. This is probably going to be a little storage unit. Let me pull this out and take a look down here. I don't know exactly what this is yet, but we can see there's a little spring operated door right here. This removes it. I can't exactly see what exactly it is yet, but I'm sure it's something. We'll move on up here and take a look at the top. I like this quite a bit. The case is made out of metal, metal mesh, and has a little bit of a plastic bezel right here, but the plastic is very, very smooth. It's a very nice, high quality plastic. If you ever touch the thing in person, you'll know what I mean. But it also has really cool features. On the front of it, you have dual standard USB ports, and you also have two of the 3.0 ports as well, as well as eSATA, and you also have mic and headphone. Up here, you have your start and your reset, and then there's also fan control right here on the side of it, so you can actually control your fan speed. So we'll go ahead and we'll just let you see the very top of it. This thing is pretty heavy being a full tower case and it is made very well. I just gotta say that holding it in my hands, you can tell that it's made of quality. You guys know what I mean. When you grab something that's like low priced or whatever, you know it's low priced. Right, so let's move forward and let's start taking the case apart. Right off the bat, I'm gonna turn over the side over here so you guys can see. There are a couple thumb screws over here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. At this time, you guys can actually see the rear of the case right here. Since I got it this angle, we might as well talk about this. Here's one of the rear outtake fans. We also have water cooling for both types of cables, which I like. We have the larger and the smaller types of cables, depending on the type of system you want to use, or if you want to have different sends and returns, I think that's a pretty good thing. The case also has nine plus one expansion slots, which means you can use either four-way crossfire or SLI. Down here, you also have where the power supply is gonna be going in and everything is really well made. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-angle the system so that we can remove the side panel. Really easy to move, by the way. This carrying handle on top has a really nice grip. You guys can't see it, but there's full on really thick rubber on here for you to grab a hold of this and carry this. And that was kind of hard to see, but right here as well. So you have multiple places to carry the case. I'm actually pretty impressed with this so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the side panel off. 
Now, on the side panel, you have many options for fans as well as you can see. You can mount two more fans here if you want, but there should be adequate cooling already in this case. We'll go ahead and move that off to the side though. Now you guys can see the internal bay of this case. It's really well made. You've got the two fans right here, giving great cooling to all of your bays that are inside the system. All right, it's really hard to get some good shots, but you guys can see right here is the accessories pack that comes inside the system. I'm going to try to re-angle this again. This is a nightmare for the cameraman. He hates this when I move everything all around. It's hard for him to focus, but he's pretty good at it. He's getting better at it. Now I'm gonna pull this out of here. This is a little accessories packet. Go ahead and just put this over here so in your guys' view. I'll open it up. Ah, okay then. So I see what these are. These are actually all of your drive bays. These are all toolless. You can see they're very flexible. They're actually very, very flexible. I don't want to break one, but they're very flexible. So all you do is just put your drive bay in here. It pops in there. Slots into one of the slots that you can see inside of here. Well, you can't really see them right now, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So these are all the bays. Those are really cool. Inside the case, we have all the first wiring harness right here. This is going to connect all of your I.O. stuff that we talked about on the top of the case. Earlier, I told you guys that the front had expansion for nine bays. Well, these are some of the, of the other bays that are available right here. These are bays that you can put in either a laptop style hard drive or your SSD. These are really good. Nice design. Also on the bottom down here, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but on the bottom, I'm going to try to angle this around. Every one of these is mesh. I don't want to don't even know exactly how these come off. I know they do, though. But underneath each one of these is a complete mesh screen. Ah, okay. I'm trying to build a rocket and it's really simple. So these are the filters for inside of your case. This is where the dust is getting sucked up off your floor because most people keep their case on the floor. This will collect all the dust. Now, one thing really nice about these mesh screens is that you can very easily just put them in your sink right in your kitchen sink or in your shower or anywhere out in the yard, rinse them off, let them dry, and then just put them right back onto the case. Very good, kind of reusable. I like it, it's green. So we're gonna pop this thing back up. Oh, by the way, so I got it at this angle. You guys can see there's this giant exhaust fan. Now, one thing to note, your intake fans are always going to be smaller than your outtake. Your outtake's always going to want to be your biggest thing. If any of you guys have ever like, done indoor growing or anything, you know the hardest thing to do is get good airflow. Good airflow comes from having small intake, but a lot of pressure being sucked out, which takes all the hot air and everything in your case and just sucks it on out into the environment. So biggest thing that most people talk about these days, though, is cable management. Cable management is the biggie. So you've seen other cases. And if you've seen any of Brian Ramirez's reviews, you know that he goes crazy about cable management. Just like Rodney Reynolds goes crazy about the, you know, having the removable motherboard tray, my guy Ramirez goes crazy if there's no cable management because that's the way he builds his systems. And the Reynolds or other tech, he likes building the wires inside. But one good thing about this case, let me just show you guys this. Here's the panel. There's actually really nothing to this panel. There's just, you know, exit things right here for air to go out. There's no fans to be mounted or anything else, no mesh. But the really good thing is back here behind the case, we'll get back over here again, plenty of room for cable management. There's a gap. You can see I'm sticking my finger into here. This case actually mounts outside of this. You have about this much space, which is about a half an inch of space back here for your cable management. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is because your cables mostly lay flat. So that's really a good feature. Now I'm just going to move the case around and once go back to the front, I want to talk to you guys about these bays because they're all removable. And this way I can actually show you the two front fans that are on here. These are LED fans, by the way. They come standard in the case. But I just want to remove all these and let you guys see it. You know what? Still, you can't see the fans. I really want to show you guys the fans, but they're actually back here behind this plate. So I can't show them to you. But anyways, you can see right here, everything removes very easily. For all the bays, the sliding bays, they're going to go over here. All your bays are at an angle. All your cables are right here, all your SATA and everything else. So this case is going to be really, really easy to work with. All the inside, completely quality all the way around. My biggest pet peeve and the thing that I whine about is sharp edges. I don't like sharp edges. You guys know I'm diabetic. 
Like I about freaked out on one of my texts last week when he dropped something on my finger, but miraculously, I don't know what it is, I healed really quick. Yeah, I know it's my middle finger, <laughs> figures, right? After I gave it to you guys out there, that's my revenge, right? I know. But overall, just from what I can see in the unboxing, this new CM Storm Trooper for under $200 is an awesome case. I think it's gonna hit the market and many people are gonna like it. It's really elegant. Everything is smooth on the entire case. The design is nice. It's got plenty of flexibility for their air cooling or water cooling. It'll fit even to the XL motherboards ATX, so you can use a giant sized motherboard. I think overall, it's just a really cool thing. This was the unboxing. Now, we're gonna be having a 50K giveaway. We got a lot of sponsors in that, including Cooler Master, obviously, and this will be the case that we're giving away now. So when you guys leave the comments below and go, oh, giveaway, well, guess what? You got it. Also, just one thing before we close this video out, I just wanna to say to you guys, I don't think that I'm smarter than any of you out there at all. I just happen to do this because I enjoy it and the learning curve is high just for me as anybody else out there and I consider myself to be a person constantly learning. So some of my videos, you guys go, hey, why didn't you set this setting or set this setting? I'm not the genius know-it-all. I just love doing this and love showing you guys stuff. So that said, I'll see you guys when we build the full case and then we're gonna give that whole system away to you for our 50K giveaway. Thanks for watching. Whoa!